welcome to science session dear students in previous class we were discussing about uh, motion along a straight line and uniform and non uniform motion also we discussed in previous class in today's class we are going to study about measuring the rate of motion dear students different objects move with a different speed right so the different they take different amount of to uh, different amount of time to cover some particular distance okay so some of them move very fast some of them move slow and also the rate at which the object moves can be different and also same objects take different time to cover a particular distance okay and if the different objects also take same time to cover some particular distance that also considerable one of the way of measuring the rate of moving rate of a moving object is to consider the distance covered by an object in a given time that is called as speed what is speed i will consider speed it is the total distance covered by object divided by the time taken okay this is called as speed what is the si unit of speed si unit of speed is meter per second like this we write this is the symbol rs meter per second Somewhere again, this is the SI unit of speed. That is meter per second or meter per second. This is also okay. This is also okay. both are right noted. Somewhere again, the measuring units that is the uh, speed unit that is centimeter per second or kilometer per hour. So this one. You may observe. You are watching the cricket. At the downside of the TV screen, they mention the bowling speed is. For example, bowling speed is 160 kilometer per hour or 70 kilometer per hour. They are mentioning right. And also, when you are traveling in a bus, you can observe. They, uh, somewhere it, it is mentioned the uh, speed of the bus that is sixty kilometer per hour, right? So what are these? These are the speed covered by the bus. These are the speed covered by the bowler by the when he was bowling. So that speed. The to specify the speed of an object, we need. Magnitude. We need to take its magnitude. Okay. The speed of an object may be a non-regular or it may be a non-uniform motion. Okay. So non-uniform motion means while it is traveling somewhere within the given time or within the given distance, the speed may vary. Sometimes it may, it moves very slow. Sometimes it will move. very fast like that but the best method is to consider the speed of an object is to take average speed to calculate the average speed is the very best method so so how we consider average speed how we consider average speed that is average speed is equal to total distance covered by an object or total distance traveled divided by total time taken okay so we consider we consider average speed that is total distance traveled divided by total time taken so here is one example if an object travels distance yes travels a distance
डिस्टेंस यस इन टाइम इन टाइम टी देन इट्स स्पीड वी इज देन इट्स स्पीड स्पीड वी इज हम इसे कैसे स्पीड स्पीड वी इज इक्वल टू सो हियर वी हैव टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला स्पीड इज इक्वल टू टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल एंड टोटल टाइम टेकन ओके सो हियर अब जो इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रैवल्स अ डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इज गिवन दैट इज यस ओके द टाइम इज गिवन दैट इज सी द स्पीड इज गिवन दैट इज वी ओके सो हियर स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट v is equal to what is total distance that is s divided by t this is the general formula to find out the speed of an object okay let us solve one problem based on the formula v is equal to s divided by speed okay so what is the example let's an object travels 16 meter in 4 second and then another 20 in 5 second what is the average speed of the object here what we have to find out the average speed of the object we have to find out that is all so we all know that for for finding the average speed what we need the total distance covered what is the total distance covered total distance travel is equal to how much the travel 16 meter plus another one is 20 meter how much it is total it is 36 meter right so next what we need total time taken Also, we need to calculate. What is the total time taken? Here, four second plus five second, which is equal to nine second. In a nine second, that object covers thirty-six uh, meter distance. Now we have to apply the formula. After writing the given data, we have to write down the formula. What is the formula? Average speed is equal to total distance travelled divided by total time taken. Okay, now what is the total distance travelled? That is thirty-six meter divided by. Nine seconds, which is equal to how much? Nine one za, nine four za, which is equal to four meter per second. This we have to know. This is very 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 important. Okay, so the object with the the object average speed is. Four meter per second. Okay, understood, students. Okay. So in next class we will solve some more problems and we move to the next sub topic. Understood? Thank you.